Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Friday of the first week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his love is without end. Come, let, let us, us give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord, for his love, love is without end. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let, let us, us give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for, for his great love is without end. end. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let, let us give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for his, his great love is without end. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, Come let us give thanks, thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Masha, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let us give thanks, thanks to the Lord, for his, his great love is without end. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let, let us give thanks to the Lord, Lord for his great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for his great love is without end. Let's be seated. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, your love fruit in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit. A humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
all the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you, God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame in disgrace, who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who establish it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in my empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the, pro only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come, all who vent their anger against him. I, the Lord, shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done, and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us be on our guard while the promise of entering into his rest remains that none of you seem to have failed. For in fact, we have received the good news just as our ancestors did. But the word that they heard didn't profit them, for they were not united in faith with those who listened. For we who believed enter into that rest, just as he has said, As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And yet his works were accomplished at the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this manner, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in the previously mentioned place, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, let us strive to enter into that rest so that no one may fall after the same example of disobedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. What we have heard and know, 
and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and His friends. Do not forget the works of the Lord, that they too may rise and declare to their sons that they should put their hope in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep His commands. Do not forget the works of the Lord, and not be like their fathers, a generation wayward and rebellious, a generation that kept not its heart steadfast, nor its spirit faithful toward God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. And he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, What are you thinking such thing in your hearts? It is easier to say to the para paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, Rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Kumusta po? Where are you? I hope we are in good health, both in mind and body. Mga kapatid, if you still remember, in the beginning of, during the beginning of pandemic, we heard a lot of bad news that many people got sick, including our family, our relatives, friends, or even Kapit Bahai, and we also can be affected by the virus anytime. And if we read the magazines, newspaper, or any articles, we can read that many doctors or scientists suggest that one the best of solutions to make us always healthy is to maintain our immune system. And the best way to maintain our immune system is to minimize stress. Ibig sabihin, bawal ang stress po. 
So, in other words, we should have peace of mind. Now, the question is, what shall we do to have peace of mind? What shall we do to have peace of mind? In today's gospel, in today's gospel, Mark evangelists say the story about the healing of the paralytic. At that time, Jesus said to the paralytic, Child, your sins are forgiven. Why did say what did Jesus say like that? Bakit kaya? In the gospel, Jesus does, does not mention about the sins of the paralytic. However, I Jesus also said that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. Then he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise up, pick up your mat, and go home. By saying this, Jesus wants to emphasize that he can forgive sins since he is, son, he is the Son of God. And he has many ways to do that. For example, in this context, the paralytic actually symbolizes ourselves, we, you and me, when we are, when we have sin. Whatever our sins, whether it is big or small, our sins and the guilty feeling that we have will make us like the paralytic who cannot stand and move on from our past. That is why Jesus commanded the paralytic to pick up his mat and go home. Meaning to say, after we are forgiven, we should forgive ourselves and forget the past. Past is past, and then we should move on and live in the present. So it is one way how Jesus forgives sinners. Another way is when we are paralyzed, we do need someone who can bring us closer to God. And we should grab this opportunity to ask forgiveness from God. And He will, for sure, He will forgive us and give us peace of mind. These people can be a priest, our parents, our spouses, our children, and our friends. They are like the four men who carried the paralytic to Jesus, and as the result, he was forgiven and healed by Jesus. Therefore, as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask God, let us pray to God so that God can give us peace of mind, and let us thank God for all the people who have brought us closer to God. Hopefully, we too can be God's channel to bring people closer to God. And always remember, help does not always come from medicine. It, can, it can comes from peace of mind, peace in the heart, and peace in the soul. And it also can come from a joyful heart and love. And indeed, only in God alone, we, we can find peace and love. Please all stand. With all the trust of the paralytics, friends, let us bring to the Lord the needs and the miseries of the church and of the world. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide the church in carrying out Christ's mission to preach forgiveness of sins to all who seek God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may foster peace in the hearts of men and women by our readiness to forgive and forget past offenses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be ready to bring Christ, especially to those who live 
character by painful circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may continue to hope and to trust in God, who wishes fullness for everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our hope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Latran and St. Albert the Great. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of Ros the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. That our departed brethren may have fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer to the Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. And through him the angels praise your majesty, heaven and virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. And may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Pinapala ang kaparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, of fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Cristo ay namatay, si Cristo ay namabuhay, si Cristo ay babalik sa wakas ng panahon. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. May dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mahalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. <coughs> pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. 
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord has come to his people and set them free. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. To the Christ, our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa nito ang ating banal na misa at ganun din po salamat sa ating sa bagong ordain namin na deacon, si Reverend Agus O.P. We continue to pray for him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ngayon naman po ay blessing para sa mga religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.